right guys, Gary here. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in and today I'm excited we're going to be looking at a great song, Immigrant Song by Led Zepp. It's the opening track from Led Zepp 3, a song I've listened to since I was a kid. I still love it. Uh, there's no fancy pants solos in this. You don't have to be a virtuoso. It's just a really good driving riff by Jimmy Page and a couple of chords and that's it. You've got it down. So let's get into it. Okay, nice and close up for this one. We're in standard tuning. I've got some gain through the amplifier, not too much. I, I want to be able to hear the individual notes and get some definition to this riff. Um, we're starting on the sixth string, on the E string, up to the F sharp, the second fret. do on the fourth string, fourth fret, that's the octave, we're just going to alternate between those two. This song really is to try and maintain good timing and good rhythm as you play that riff. Um, it's not, you know, there's nothing too fancy about it, but it's not as simple as you think just to keep the rhythm all the way through. Okay, so just practice that. Um, I, you know, you, you might find your own way of doing it. I like to just sort of take my finger off when, when I play each. I take off that and then bounce back on. And once you've got that down, really you've got most of the track. Okay, so we, we play a few uh, bars of the riff. come into the verse uh, chords when the vocals start and here we're going to do an A power chord so I'm just firing across the second third and fourth strings and an open A string at the second fret there and then down to uh, an open E chord strumming it from the sixth string the E and you want those chords to ring out because they sort of sustain while the vocals come in. So it sounds like this. And that's when Robert Plant starts singing the verse. And then towards the end of his line of vocals, we do the opposite. So it's E, back up to the A. And back to our riff. So let's just have a quick recap. We'll breeze through that again, uh, starting from the top. And then we've got the section where the lyrics change to um, On We Sweep with Threshing Or Our Only Goal Would Be The Western Shore. So that comes after a, a few rounds of the riff. Um, and for that we're going to go to an A power chord. And I'm just strumming that from the A string. And then we go to a B power chord, just a, a bar chord. And then slide that up to a C. So that's just an A power chord there, barring the strings um, two, three, and four at the, at the second fret and an open A string. Let's put on we sweep. And then we've got this bar chord where we, we shift that shape up to a B and bar, you're probably familiar with that. With threshing all. Up to C, our only goal with the, with the Western Shore, that part. And then back to our riff. 
So once you've got that part, you've got the whole song really. Just in the outro, Jimmy Page introduces another chord. There's some debate about what that chord is. Um, is it um, a C9, which is sort of like the root of a C chord, and then barring across the first, second, and third string, sounds like that. That's how I play it, actually. I've always played it like that. Um, some people would say it's a G minor uh, with a C in the bass, so I'm just holding down the sixth string there at the third fret, and also it's octave on the, on the, the fourth string at the fifth fret, the, the D string. They sound pretty similar anyway. So let's just run through where that chord comes into the song. It's towards the end and you need to listen to the record really to familiarise yourself with exactly where it comes in. Uh, but it sounds something like this. The song just finishes there, so it's uh, it's a dead finish. There's no fade outs or anything. track uh, they just don't write them like that anymore any track that's got the lyrics um, to fight the hordes singing and crying Valhalla I am coming it's just got to be <laughs> worth a listen I think they used to just think bigger in those days uh, guys I really hope you've enjoyed that lesson I hope it helps you with your playing please if you have um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel uh, it will help me to grow this I'm hoping to put loads more material out for electric guitar and acoustic guitar lessons uh, so thanks again for joining me and in the meantime i'll see you soon enjoy your guitar playing <laughs>